How's everything been coming along? Um, it's great. I mean, I took the LSAT, so I feel really, really relieved. Oh, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Glad to hear it. When did you take it? Yeah, I took it on Saturday. So I took it the first day that it was administered. Awesome. And everything went smoothly? Yeah, everything went smoothly. Um, I took it in a hotel room. Wi-Fi was great. It was nice and quiet. So I was really pleased about that. But it, it's obviously nerve wracking. Of course. Of course. Well, yeah. I'm glad it's behind you and I'm glad it all went well. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. So what's next for you? So um, I had a few questions for you about the application process. Um, a lot of people tend to, they say that that process tends to be really difficult or long and it takes a lot of time. Um, but I think tackling the LSAT, there's just nothing that's going to compare to that. Um, so I want to know maybe like how much time I should prepare for that. They're, they're expecting to release the scores on the 24th. Right. So, um, yeah. Like, do you have any guidance on that? Like maybe when to start applying, um, how much time to dedicate to that? The more, the better, obviously not to the point of burning out, but you want to make all parts of your application as strong as possible. I mean, the LSAT's the biggest factor, but why not work on everything else and get it to as high a quality as you possibly can. So with writing, multiple revisions, of course. You've got, at this point, a couple of weeks. So you can, there's plenty that you can accomplish in that time. But I would look at what's your current status on drafts of different statements you might want to write. So personal statement, any optional essays, rec letters, diversity statement. Where, where are you at with those things? So my personal statement, I have it, um, I have a friend reviewing it. So I feel pretty solid about it. It's just kind of letting other people look at it and tell me what they think. Um, I'm working on a diversity statement. I'm just having a little bit of trouble with it because I feel like I don't have as much substance to work with. Um, so I wanted to ask you about that actually, the diversity statement. Is it okay for it to be relatively short, like just one page? Oh yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be as long as a personal statement typically. Schools may have their guidelines for it, but typically it is shorter. So if a personal statement is oftentimes two pages double-spaced, a diversity statement could be half that. Could be a little bit more than that, of course, but it all depends okay. on the school, but typically it's gonna be shorter. Okay, okay, got it. Um, I also wanted to ask you a question about recommendation letters. I was looking on the LSAC website and it looks like you have to send in, your recommenders have to send in their letters. Um, I think it says like three weeks to process. Mm -hmm. Really, time it takes. So let's say I'm trying to apply early decision. Um, should I have my recommender turn it in three weeks before? Yeah, I would. I would aim to get would. everything in as soon as possible. And the recommenders, of course, they're a factor that you can't control what they do. Whereas you can decide when you submit your stuff, but you're relying on them, of course. So I would ask them to get it in ASAP. Oh, okay. Okay. Then I have to do that. Then as for the other parts of the application, I mean, give it your all. You've got a couple of weeks where you can make anything happen. It's just up to you to put in the time to get those revisions done, get those drafts done. And of course, we can workshop your application essays in class too. I run application essay workshops pretty frequently in the course. You can get feedback from me and others on your drafts. Okay. And I can just send that to you whenever, just in a random Send email. it whenever, and then I'll add it to the agenda for the next session. Okay. Sounds perfect. Um, I have a question that I'm curious about. If I... If I want to go to a school, um, because I know usually the evening program is less rigorous or not rigorous, but it's um, usually the LSAT averages are lower and things like that. So I know that there's schools you can apply for both. Um, would you recommend doing that for a school that maybe you, you want to get into, but maybe um, you don't really fit into the criteria, you, you're a better fit for the evening program given your numbers? Or do you think that might be a bad idea if I know for sure I want to be full-time? If you know you want to be full-time, then I wouldn't apply to the part-time program. You don't want them to push you into that program when full-time is what you really want. Yeah. Okay. Could I get into it in the evening program and then maybe like transfer into full-time? Is that possible? Can you do that? That's a good question. I'm sure that it's possible. Mm -hmm. Transferring often isn't as, doesn't happen as often as people think or hope it will. So I wouldn't ever count on it. Mm. 
it might it may vary by school though and by what's happening that cycle of course i, I would ask okay i would ask okay. and of course you can ask anonymously if you like and see just to get <laughs> the information without it potentially being associated with your file got it got it okay okay yeah i was just really curious about that um what else so I have a presentation to give in class. On the yeah, 15th. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Um, do you have a topic that you would, you know, because I'm kind of done with the LSAT. So maybe I have a, I don't know, maybe it's kind of weird for me to present at this point, but I'm not at all. You've been to. through the process. You've been through the process and you had a smooth administration, which not everybody does. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything maybe that you're looking for me to talk about? Maybe something that you would like for me to talk about? It's really more about whatever would, would serve you as a way, to, in this case, to wrap up your journey. What were some of the biggest takeaways you got from the process? What do you okay. think led you to have a, a smooth, successful administration, both on, not just on the tech side, of course, but then like uh -huh. feeling good about game day. A lot of folks walk out nervous or anxious or stressed, or they get thrown off if something small goes wrong. So thinking okay. about what brought you to a point where things did go smoothly nothing's ever perfect. I would imagine there was, if you look hard enough, you'll find some issue that happened, but mm -hmm. how did you overcome it and keep forging ahead smoothly despite that? And what went okay. into your prep over the past few months or more that led it to go well on test day? Okay. That's awesome. I'm more than happy to talk about that. Um, okay. And then do you still want me to talk about a question type? Sure. If that, if that fits into this bucket, then absolutely. Otherwise, you okay. don't need to, though. I mean, what we just covered about the questions I asked you, that could be enough for, for a really interesting presentation and conversation. But if there is a particular okay. question type where you saw significant growth during your prep period, then it would mm -hmm. definitely be useful to hear about that as well. Okay. All right. Then I'll give that some deep thought, and then I'll email you. Um, when do you expect everything to be emailed to you? You want a presentation, right? Even if it's, if, if I just decide to just talk about what we just discussed, do you still want me to put that in writing somehow in a presentation? Oh, no, you don't need to. If students choose to do that or not. It's up to them. I mean, a lot of folks will do a Google Doc as a way to like compile their notes related to what they're discussing. But if you just want to talk, that's totally fine to it. I've had folks do slides. I've had folks Google, do Google Docs. Okay. I've had folks create an image or flow chart, but you can do whatever you want. There are students who just talk also, and that's totally fine. Okay. But I really appreciate your willingness to share that because I'm sure folks will find it very useful to yeah. hear, especially about your flex experience. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, I think those are all the questions I have for you right now, Steve. I'm looking to email you my personal statement um, and then just get started on the rest of all the other stuff I have to do. <laughs> Else that was just step one. Yeah. Well, again, congratulations on a very successful test day experience. I'm looking forward to your presentation and of course, to continue working with you on the application essays. So reach out when you've got it all and I'll be happy to take a look okay. and I'm excited for our class on Monday. Okay. Thank you so much, Steve. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Denise. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye.